we started out, we were just a, a bunch of friends who, you know, we all got to know each other. And so slowly it sort of, we, we learned if we wanted to, to use this energy, we had to, you know, become more organized and then eventually we became an organization and we called ourselves Youth in Motion because we're young and because we have this energy, I think it's important, you know, that we put it to work. People may not understand why we get together to, to do community service. When you're with your friends, anything you do is going to be fun, anything you do is going to be rewarding and it's going to be enjoyable. The mission of Youth in Motion is to serve our communities uh, in Chicago and internationally as well. We wanted to start like a, a forum where young people from around the community could come, you know, from different backgrounds, different neighborhoods, different ethnicities, and also receive wisdom, you know, from the older, wiser people in the community who've been there and done it before. We all come from very colorful cultural backgrounds. We all come with like a tradition of art and entertainment and culture. And now we have an opportunity to, to express it in a lot of different ways and in a lot of different combinations. We come together about once a week. We discuss projects we're doing. At the beginning, a lot of art programs. The focus isn't just on bringing uh, different cultures, you know, from Chicago's community together, but also bringing different artists from Chicago's communities together. By the more bridges we can build between different artists, between different artistic scenes and, and movements in Chicago, the more Chicago can benefit from having a vibrant artistic environment. Our departments consist of, we like to focus uh, on education within our community, aid internationally and domestically. Sports, we like to bring the youth out because not every youth would like to come to a lecture and whatnot. We try to create networking amongst our students and professionals. We also try to hold every year the NAPAC Business Conference. LEAF Learning is a, a Sunday school program that we have opened and are offering to all communities and all age levels from four years and up. Uh, we are offering this program so that children have a place that they can come to on the weekends and learn about their religion, uh, their culture. My kids are new in the school, um, and from what I can see, they're enjoying it a lot. We learn new stuff that we haven't learned in the past. Sunday school is mostly Islamic, and then we also have some cultural aspects, so for half an hour to 45 minutes, we teach um, language, so we teach Albanian, Bosnian, Arabic. I think it's a, it's a good place for them to come and learn a little bit with other people and learn about different cultures and the same religion that they have in common. There's a lot more going on here than just religion and language and the children are actually interacting when they're doing other things which is, I really like that part. My kids are really looking forward to school on Saturday nights because it's a Sunday school. They, they're excited to pack their bags, get their notebooks, their pencils ready come to school to learn from some teachers who, who take their time to come teach them. We don't want the children crying, no, I don't want to go to Sunday school. We want them to want to come. And this is our goal, and so far we've been very successful. We're very happy. What is unique here is just the, um, the friendly environment. It's not just a classroom environment where the kids sit in class and learn something, but they're actually doing things together. There is an activity, it's very much activity based, so right now they were um, making some spring rolls and some cookies, and so there's a lot of friendship, I, I hope, that will develop out of this experience that they're not just going into a classroom and leaving a classroom and going back. We have uh, worked very hard to select our teachers, our role models, these mentors for these children to have. Teachers are really nice to hang out with. They're funny. They're easy to talk to. This is my third Sunday school and in the other ones it's more strict where you sit down for about five hours with the teacher talking and you just have to write down whatever you can remember them saying. I like the school so far. Um, like we're learning Arabic, which is something I always wanted to learn, uh, like reading the Quran. In class, they don't just make you raise your hand and be quiet. They like to hear your opinion. They ask you questions, like make sure you understand the criteria and stuff. It's more spread out where we would have one class and the teachers are just like, welcoming and inviting. I really like to cook and I think it's a great idea that we're able to cook together after class and eat what we cook. Yes. 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 Yes.
We have our ACT class at three locations. We have it at AIC, MCCA, and IFS. The ACT program is like really good because you have small, like not, not that many kids in the class and there's more teachers so you get more knowledge out of a class and it's not really one teacher standing up there talking to a bunch of kids. It's just like, you got it? Okay, moving on. And if you don't get it, you're just left behind. With this year, sort of like, I don't get it, and the teacher's like, okay, let's work on it more. We also have teach and travel where you can go to another country and you can teach. The goal of the program for teach and travel, I think, is to fully immerse uh, students over here into a new culture and to have them see different facets of a different culture. And teach and travel is, it's not just going to teach or going to learn. You actually get to go and experience. You get to travel and you get to learn how to be independent and to travel on your own or travel with friends and you really get to make lifelong friendships and that's what I have done. We also have, with the study abroad program, we've had we've been able to transfer credits to different schools and you can take classes internationally which looks really good on college applications, even on resumes to know that you went somewhere else and experienced another education system. Else that we do for Youth in Motion is uh, NAPEC. It's a big business conference that we hold every year. So NAPEC brings together venture capitalists and uh, investors and people that have a footing in, business, in the business world and it brings them together with people that are just starting and entrepreneurs and stuff that don't have the resources and um, we help build this network of people that, um, that they can feed off of each other information, ideas, money and stuff like that. Youth in Motion is all about bringing the community together. When you bring the youth in by attracting them with basketball or attracting them with you know, after school activities like sports and stuff, people will automatically be more inclined to join us and they see that it's not just you know schooling or Sunday school they see that it's also fun so every Sunday night we go to MEC and they have a gym there where we can all play basketball and it's only like two two and a half hours and it's just a great way to like you have school the next day but you know that you know before school starts before you have to go into Monday you can go in and play some basketball release some stress you know blow off some steam hang out with the guys one last time before you have to get back into your daily routine one of the interesting parts about the youth youth in motion basketball tournament that I attended is that not only was it a tournament for people to go have fun but it was also a benefit tournament for the people of Haiti, they wanted to build the well, so they're raising money and all the proceeds from that tournament went there. And people think that the disaster that happened there was such a long time ago, but the people still there are dealing with it every day and it's, you know, they have a hard time just getting clean water to drink. And it was just a great way that we got a community together for basketball, but in the same way, we also had that community together for Haiti. Everybody was there also having fun. They all knew what it was for. started the, the lecture series, you know, we invite professors and scholars and activists and community leaders from all different fields and all different backgrounds to come in and, and share their thoughts with the community and with the youth and help the youth share their thoughts amongst themselves as well. More of a community dialogue, it's more of a forum. The youth can come and speak to somebody and the, that somebody can speak to them and they speak amongst themselves. I've been to lots of events, basketball events, um, uh, business events, uh, personal uh, benefit events, uh, fundraising events. This is helping me become an actual Muslim American and live in this society without being dragged to one side or another or doing anything that I shouldn't be doing. And, and it's helping me fill my time with uh, with beneficial things for me and for the society at, whole, at a large. We now work at the Sunday School with Youth in Motion. I am part of the group. I go to the lectures and also different youth groups outside of this. I find myself wanting to be involved with more and just seeing a wider community and not be so close-minded in a way. As Youth in Motion uh, Outreach, we're working on two programs. We're working on a global medical brigade program where we're gonna send uh, undergraduate to graduate students overseas to underprivileged countries to serve uh, people there in hospitals and in clinics 
it's going to give them a new perspective on the world and it's gonna help us giving back to these communities. Another program in the future that we're working on is a Peace Corps program where we're going to start sending newly graduated students who don't know what the next step in their careers is to teach for a year or two or three years depending on what is most comfortable for them in different countries. We wanted to inspire people to do good work, to commit to community service uh, wherever they were, you know, even if it's around Chicago or if it's as far as Haiti. If young people could get together and help each other out, we could get build a momentum around the Chicago community.